What's up, y'all? It's W, and I'm back with a special. This was a live, in-person Madden Challenger game against Chaos, another top player, and this is the first time I played him all year, but I am familiar with what he wants to do because he did play Skimbo in the Madden Classic, so I helped him prepare for it. So I, I was prepared for a little bit of what he wanted to do out of his trips tight end, which I think is a really good offense. And here, this is his first drive of the game. He had third and long. Great job taking the drag, giving him a, a chance to go for it on, on fourth and inches. And here he comes on goal line. I want to come out in Tampa 2, 3, 4. Pinch my line right here. I come out and cover two for the corners to play the toss. I'm just going to run commit down. Hopefully somebody shoots in. You know, I know he's probably not going to pass out of this. Just in case I'm on my safety. Like I said, corners and hard flats in case the toss. He runs fullback dive. I get a fluky block shed, Everson Griffin. That's why you use the Vikings. Hit stick some. Turn the ball over early. Feeling really good about a turnover on the first drive. So I'm going to go out here and see what he got for the run. You know, I really don't like to run the ball, but offline regs, it's really the move to go ahead and run. Make your opponent show you that they're going to stop, stretch, and dive, and wham, and whatnot. So that's why I'm going to start and see what he has for me, you know. I don't want to sit here and just pass against 3 3 5 odd all game. I know that's what he runs on defense. It's tough to pass against. So I'm going to go ahead and run some stretches. But here we go. We got first and 10. He does a good job shutting it down. I play on conservative. I'm not going to break any tackles. I'm not going to juke or spin. And here we go. I go for a draw out of bunch. Big stop there to get me to a third and long inside the 20. I'm going to go ahead and just, he leaves the flat open. I got to take it, you know. And like I said, I play on conservative. I'm not going to get any extra yards. And here with the new mechanic this year, I'm just going to come out here and bluff like I'm going to go for it and hopefully get all sides, you know. Hopefully get one of his linemen to jump. You know, you got to give yourself that opportunity if the game helps you out. So I'm just going to keep hard counting until I go off sides. Perfectly fine going up 3 nothing after getting a stop. I, I get my possession back. Four minute quarters. The game is short with 40 second play clock. Here we go early. I get a little contained. That was one of the few plays this game where I got good contained and made, made him stay in the pocket. Same thing this time. He moves out a little bit, hits a drag, hits underneath. Here we go. He got a third and four. This time, once again, I don't get contain. He has all day when he rolls out of the pocket. A little playmaker up. Gets the first down. Here we go. We're going to blow up inside zone out of this out of this defense. And there he goes fighting. That's when you know, okay, he's on balance. He's not on conservative. I can get a fumble if I lay a good enough hit. So here we go again. I don't know what. There's no pass rush on this play. He does a good job. We had a good job on hard flat, second and three. He had no drags. He had nowhere to go to, but the playmaker up. He, he got outside and made a big play right there. Once again, you see I'm on balance. I'm not going to make anybody Or I'm on conservative. I'm not going to make anybody miss. That's a sacrifice you live with. There we go. We hit the C route in the seam. Big play to Adam Thielen. Only corner strike was going to hit Rudolph. See, I'm kind of, you know how I am. Once I, once the run gets boxed a little bit, we're, we're kind of right back in the pass. And, you know, kind of trying to want to make this the last drive of the half. Go up 10-7. I get the ball at half, so I'm feeling good still. But here you go. Let me bust a stretch. That's why I went to the run. I wanted to make this the last drive. Even if it was 7-6 at halftime, I would have been cool. But I got a touchdown there, so I'm happy with that. Up three points. Here we go again. He gets a double team on the end. Has all day. Hits this big play. And Xavier Rose. That's just me being stuck in. I have an Avenger out there. I can hold Y, and he's going to teleport to the ball. I did it with Xavier Rose. I held Y to try to get an animation and break up that pass. And what happened there was he just went <laughs> he just went stupid and didn't get animation, slowed down, got banned animation. Gave up a touchdown on that play, and that, that hurts. But here we go. We're going to go for a cover three beater, try to quick snap him so he doesn't set it up. And we got it. Touchdown. That's a big play. you know. And I'm going to remember that play later in the game that he gave up a cover three beater. As a man player, you never want to give that up. So I got tired of him rolling out. So this drive, I go ahead and go just go to a little DB fire action. Pressure off both sides. That way he can't just roll out. He stays in the pocket. And Anthony Barr is Anthony Barr. That's why you use him. He can bait the drag, jump up to a post 15 yards down the field and go and get it. Big play. You know, the fact I'm guaranteed to head of the league going into halftime is big right here. Hit a flat. Once again, I try the truck. I get a little bit of extra yards, but not too much there. Third and six, we go double drags. I uh, try to hit the short side one. He doesn't catch it. So I'm, I'm disappointed because the touchdown there was big. But I'll take my, my six-point lead. You know, right here, we got a great tackle there by Xavier Rose. Not to get big yards. Because, like I said, he plays on balance. So, that could have been 15 yards right there. 13 seconds left. He has two timeouts. So, he can throw the ball anywhere, really. I can see this drag to make sure I don't get hit with the post. Cost timeout. So, he has seven seconds. He's around 50. I'm probably going, just going to cover two deep blue. Double flats on both sides. He can't throw anything to get out of bounds. You know, I'm playing the middle of the field. 
Good job. Just double flats all over, and I lurked the deep corner route. Nowhere for him to really throw the ball. So I one second left. Now I know it's just I'm just going down the field. Let me get a sack. End the half. Up three. Up six points. Getting the ball feel good. I get a good drive coming out of the second half. I can put the game away. Draw first play gets boxed. Sheesh. Here we go. Now I hit the flat route. Boom. Not a lot of yards. There we go. Now it gets me to a 38. I get greedy here and go for the big ball instead of the, the drag. I go for the big corner route. Don't get a good animation. It was a tough throw. I, I decided to punt here and say just don't let him get a big play outside the pocket. That's what's killing me. The big plays outside the pocket. So if I contain, I'm going to do a good job on defense. Make him work. And here he goes. He has a good plan. He comes out here and starts quick snapping inside zone. Two plays in a row, he quick snaps inside zone when I'm not in the gap to shoot it. Because one thing about his offense, he gives you a lot of time in the line of scrimmage. But those two plays, he quick snapped inside zone. It was smart by him. And boom, he hits a corner route on cover four. I mean, he was ready for that. And he just really executed well that drive. Good job mixing up your timing and your snaps. People don't do that enough. And, you know, he really quick snapped inside zone a couple times. I was not in position. And he got some easy yards. So there we go. Just going to tight offset. Two drags. Hit the corner route there. He went hard flats. I'll get busy with Teddy Bridgewater. Like I always do in the pocket. Hiking hall, baby. But this is a good drive. Once again, we're just going to hit the drags. You know, if you want to play cloud flats, we're going to hit the drags. That's that's the plan in the tight offset. Two drags happens quick. It kills pressure. How audible to a base and pop a run. There's nothing better in this game than pop on a touchdown run. You know, it's, it's relaxing. You don't have to deal with the red zone. And I don't go for two here. Madden would tell you to go for two here to get a seven-point lead, but I don't want it. It's too early. My philosophy in Madden has always been... I don't go for two unless I have to. And that's come back. That'll come back in this game to be a big deal. There we go. Get the fluky on the kick return. Get him down to the five yard line. Try to lurk this out route. Ooh, speed out route to Rudolph. Almost got there with Barr. But I missed it. Was not able to get there with anything. Barr wasn't fast enough. Here I go. That time I'm in the gap to try to help with inside zone. And it doesn't get a lot of yards. So once again, here we go. I'm like, Daniel Hunter goes inside. But my looper hurdled. And I get a sack there. So a third and 17. I thought this was a great play by him to go ahead and throw this little wheel route and get half of the yards. You know, he got 10. It was a huge play. You know, a lot of people look to get all those yards out in one play, but he got a lot of them. Made this fourth and six very manageable. And my philosophy in Madden to the day I die, I get to a fourth down, I'm sending. Pretty much this game, it was either send four or blitz the corner. So I know on fourth down, I'm going to send the corner. So... In that responsibility, I'm in cover three, so I have to lurk the whole left side. I'm going to contain, and Daniel Hunter on the right side, my defensive end, has a huge job to do. Don't let him get outside. That's pretty much what the defense is going to come down to. I blitz the corner, lurk the left side. He gets outside the pocket. Huge play down the field. Disappointed, and that's pretty much all Daniel Hunter, and that's what I'm mad about. You know, and that's a good job by him, getting outside the pocket, blocking, so he's able to do that. Throws a drag on flat. She's. Not a bad play there by me. Not upset with giving up a couple yards. Here we go again in the pocket. Good job by me strafing and hit sticking. Oh, man, we need a fumble there. If you want to play on balance and get strafed up and hit stick like that, oh, geez. And here we go. He goes for a quick out route thinking I'm in cover three. Should have been a pick six to end the game. But Terrence Newman, that's not the Avenger version of Terrence Newman. It's the regular version of Terrence Newman. Dropped the pick. But I'm all right. I'm still good. He still needs to score a touchdown. And there he goes. Boom. Harrison Smith hits stick. Gets him to a third and long. Third and ten on 35. Definitely four down territory. No way he's kicking the field goal here. He does a good job going back over the middle. Getting there before I can get there with Barr. Gets him down to a fourth and one. I'm assuming here I'm going to blitz again. I think double. Fl I'm going to double flat the right side for his running back route. His tight end out routes. All that stuff. Blitz again. He motions in a blocker. Once again gets outside. Has all day. And I have a terrible strong safety. Those right in front of it. Gets it to the one. And he called timeout right away. You know, if you're getting to the one, you have four plays. Probably all the plays are going to be running plays other than the last one. So, I'm thinking he could have waited and called timeout at 15 seconds or 12 seconds. But he called it at 21 seconds. Now, you're never guaranteed when you're going to get into the end zone. Obviously, you, you, want, the, you want the touchdown. So, they'll give it to you the first play. I know he's going to call toss. Watch them play earlier. Call toss. I come on call toss defense. Stopped him outside. We kicked it up inside. So now I'm losing the game now. Now, if I had went for two earlier, you know, and I didn't get it, he would already be up now. And they would be telling him to go for two to go up three points. But because I just kicked my extra point, 
Now I'm only gonna be down one point. There's no option for him to go up by three points. The most he can go up by is one point, and I'm trying to block the hell out of this kick. And I'll tell you, offline is way different. You can cheat. You can look at his hands. He can look at my hands. And I'm without a doubt, when I was kicking the field goal, I always looked down to see if he's really clicking in the right trigger, if he's really trying to block the kick. And there's times where he wasn't. I snapped it, and you know, so right here, he's probably looking down at my hand like, damn, they're gonna try to block it. My computer almost blocked it, but you know. So here we go, I got all three timeouts because he scored on the first play and because he called timeout 21 seconds. I have 19 seconds and three timeouts. Now, if I don't have any timeouts, I'm running this kick out. But because I have three timeouts, there's no way I can run this kick out because it will waste me four seconds. I need every bit of these seconds to, you know, to make a field goal here. Now, I already beat him with the cover three beater. So I'm thinking no matter what defense he's in, he's going to deep half his outside corner so he doesn't get hit with a bomb. So the play I call is a cover two beater, which is curl flat, you know, because it's going to get past the clouds and there's going to be no deep blue zone in, in a half that can cover. It. He calls cover two. I streak him. Perfect play call. And I get the whoop, hop out of bounds animation. All right. That's cool. Forget about it. I still have 13 seconds. Still have two timeouts. Need about 20 yards each play. Now, what can I go to? I go back to the double drags and I know this corner route will get over the, get over the cloud flats if it's the wide side. What's tricky here is that I'm actually in the middle of the field, so it's not as predictable if the ball was on the hash. I quick snap it, go ahead and throw this over Xavier Rhodes' head, get a great animation this time, and go out of bounds. Eight seconds left at midfield. I got one dot. I got one dot. If I had taken the kick out and wasted four seconds, I would have one play right now. That's it, and it would be a Hail Mary. That's the only thing I could do. But because I let the ball bounce, don't waste time on kickoffs when you have timeouts. Eight seconds left. I need one play. I'm thinking to myself, a drag a drag might get me to the 35. I might get 10 yards on the drag if he plays cloud flats. And I put a curl on the middle of the field in case he just flat and blitzes with no yellow. Covers the curl. Boom. Covers the flat. And I hit the corner route. Boom. First down. Timeout. Able to call a timeout. Got two seconds left to get my field goal to win the game. That was clutch play by me. Way to utilize all the timeouts. Way to utilize all the time that I had left, which was only 19 seconds. And here we go again. This is just another field goal. You almost say I might look down at his hand, but I'm let's see. I gotta look down at his hand. He's not. He's not flicking the, the trigger, so I kick it. Boom, and that's a good game. Great game to my man. Chaos is a great player. Good offense. Wish I would have contained. Got some better pressure off the edge, but I'm cool with it. Got the win. Clutch gene is always in effect. Stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe if you like the play-by-play -play or if you like the game breakdowns. Gonna try to bring more of these for y'all because I know y'all enjoy watching. And hearing what I think throughout the game and the stuff that goes on in my mind. Like I said, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here.